Hello guys, Dan here, welcome back. In today's video I wanted to do something uh, differently. Uh, I had a good idea to paint uh, this uh, bounty hunter, like a Borderlands uh, comic style uh, type, and I totally failed. Uh, it was uh, me actually painting this kind of stuff uh, first time in my life, I wanted to try it. So I made uh, so many mistakes and actually it didn't turn out as much as I wanted. So actually the, the black lining is uh, too thick and uh, actually more look like a mess. On the other side the base actually turned out nicely and uh, uh, I will upload the video how to make this base uh, separately. Uh, because I don't want to force people to watch this video just uh, to see how I made this base uh, But uh, I will show you uh, at the rest of the video how I tried to achieve uh, uh, this uh, comic style uh, version of this uh, bounty hunter Even uh, when I started priming this model I used uh, the spray but the humidity outside was uh, too big and then uh, the spray actually ruined like half of the model so it was already going wrong from that moment but I still wanted to try uh, before I start stripping the model but now when it's finished maybe I will just keep it to remind me of something that I wanted actually to try and uh, that it failed but encouraged me to keep going and try to make it better in the future so as I said before, uh, both uh, motorcycle and rider they are primed with a red bone spray and I try to achieve like an uh, even coat all around on both of them uh, but as you can maybe see on her legs it's like looks like it's a granulated and there is like a little dust it's like from the moist uh, that the spray picked up uh, during the spraying of this model uh, but I will try to work uh, with it so there will be a lot of contrast paints in this project. So first uh, I used E and then yellow and uh, I start blocking the, the panels on the motorcycle in some totally random pattern without any plan. Uh, only thing that uh, I wanted uh, was actually so that two panels of the same color are not too close to each other. So I was going all around and trying to make uh, like totally separate uh, panels that are further away from each other in this color. Then I pick up a Magos Purple, uh, another contrast paint, and I did the same. So I painted another couple of random armor panels that are not close to each other and uh, tried to block them uh, uh, with uh, one very thick coat. But in this case, like uh, since they are uh, flat armor panels, there will be a lot of stains on the stuff that you painted but just leave it like that because later we'll cover it with the black linings so you won't actually see them that much uh, After that I pick up uh, a thermatic uh, blue and uh, I start doing the same. Uh, only with this color I pick up like the biggest uh, parts because I liked the, the tone of this color and uh, I uh, try not to go over the panels that you already painted uh, because they are all like pretty bright colors and if you mix them they will uh, start uh, making the third color which you actually don't want, you want to, to keep consistency here. And for the few of the rest uh, panels that are left, I will use Achillean Green and uh, the same principle as before, uh, one very thick coat and just uh, try to be precise and neat and paint them.
Uh, for the rest of the parts that are left uh, without any paint, I just painted them black uh, with uh, black Templar contrast. So like tires, uh, handles, some parts of the engine, and I think that's it. So here was my first mistake. Uh, I was not supposed to use the Black Templar for this step. Uh, maybe it would be better if I used uh, uh, Basilicanum Grey or something uh, brighter, but not the, the black color. Uh, because there won't be any contrast later when I started to uh, do the, the lining on the motorcycle. And now this was supposed to be the most interesting part, uh, is to take the black paint and just go over every single edge of the panels and draw a nice thin line. Uh, just to make them look like a comic book as well on the big like a flat uh, panels that are empty uh, You should uh, draw like a uh, cross hatches like some kind of patterns uh, I made uh, so many mistakes in these steps uh, with the paint uh, it was too thick and then uh, I was drawing like uh, too many uh, of the thick lines and then uh, later the paint was too too dry so i couldn't find like a proper balance and then when i diluted the paint it was too wet so everything was like quite going downhill at this moment uh, but i was like i wanted to to finish this project so at least i can show you that uh, sometimes you know it doesn't matter how much effort we put we still like don't get the, the result as we want but it doesn't matter that we shouldn't try uh, it just supposed to keep trying and eventually we will make this happen correctly. And so at this stage I use the Ultron Grey and uh, I noticed that everything is like too much dark and I was like okay let me try to pull something of it back and let me try to make some highlights uh, with Ultra and Grey. So I just went around and on some little spots here and there I put uh, like a little highlights uh, on these black lines just to try to make them a little brighter uh, but I don't think I succeeded in this step quite well actually. So you can see here from the all the angles, you can't even notice that much uh, of the auto and grey on this uh, model. Then I did uh, totally same things on the rider uh, and uh, with a totally same uh, result as I did on the motorcycle. So it was slightly, I think, better but still not enough. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me guide you to the steps that I did. Uh, so I used the uh, or green contrast for her hair, uh, just because the motorcycle doesn't have any uh, green color on it. So this will create like a cool uh, contrast. And then I used the uh, Yandan yellow uh, to paint her armor panels. So there is a couple of armor panels on her hands and a couple of on her legs. So this is uh, actually very little of the, this color on it. Uh, the left shoulder plate, uh, I decided to paint it the two different colors just to create a contrast. Uh, I used the uh, Magus purple for her clothes and there is actually not that much of it so she has a couple of on the trousers and very little on her sleeves of her jacket. I used the Ethermatic Blue just for the rest of the 
these protective pads that she have uh, all around. And here I made a little mistake as well, if you noticed, uh, I just touched with my brush the hair, so the green from the hair mixed here, and uh, it created actually a very interesting effect of transition, like from the green to blue, so I found it like uh, super cool, and I was like, okay, I will just leave it, and uh, I will just work from it, uh, yeah, in, in the end it turned out uh, okay, but uh, I was supposed to be a little more tidier here and try not to, to mess up, uh, but things just happen. Uh, for her face, uh, I used the standard uh, Gilliman flash, uh, just one thick coat uh, and it was enough. Uh, for the rest of the panels uh, that are left, like a visor and the snippets, I peel them uh, with the Achillean green. Uh, and as well, I use uh, this color to create a little contrast of on her gun. So I just painted the magazine and I painted the, the spot where she is actually holding the gun. Uh, while the rest of the gun uh, I decided to paint in a different color. And as well I painted all these leather pouches with this color as well that she's carrying. And the last thing uh, what was left was to paint the rest of the gun, so I used another contrast paint, which is Blood Angels Red, and I just nicely and tidily tried to fill it up so I don't mess the other colors around, and uh, painted it uh, with the one thick coat of the Blood Angels Red. So this is the final result. So now we are going back to the first process that I already messed up, which is the black underlining or panel lining so uh, my goal was actually to do the same as I did in motorcycle so to go around the model and try to draw uh, nice uh, thin lines uh, whenever there is an edge or whenever there is a space between two armors and uh, as well you will highlight to actually the edge highlight but this time with the black paint just to create the linings like in those uh, comic books As you notice here, I swapped to a smaller brush and uh, actually I, I was supposed to do that a lot, lot earlier, uh, but uh, it was a little too late at this stage. This is the end result and only thing that was left was to paint her eyes so actually I only pick up the white color actually I used up the white scar and just painted the eye sockets and then I returned to the same black as I did and uh, put two little dots in the middle of the eyes and uh, that's it I decided to finish there and uh, I transfer her to the base that I try to do the drawing of the comic style uh, but I will include a link to that video in the description below so I don't put it together with this video because I, I don't think that too many people will want to watch actually a whole this uh, project that I messed up uh, but anyway uh, if you guys uh, like this video uh, it doesn't matter how bad it is <laughs> please uh, Subscribe to the channel and give me a like uh, uh, because it will make this channel grow and it will mean a lot to me. So this is it for now. Please stay safe, take care and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye!